Hello all, it is Brian here on a Tuesday, and uh, I say hello to you, and uh, it's good to, well, I don't see you, but you see me, and uh, I'm fine, I'm doing well. Thank you all very much, by the way, for the, uh, I, you know, if I talk about the messages I've received, and the posts I've seen, and the tweets I've seen, and the phone calls, you know, I'll uh, cry, I'll do that, because... In moments like this, I'm not a, um, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a guy who gets um, usually, and 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 this is one of those examples. This is this is this is a usually moment. I'm not a guy who gets. Um, we all have. Yeah. I'm not a guy who gets angry in moments like this. I'm a guy who actually gets. Um, a little bit sad in moments like this and um, sad for different reasons. I mean, not, you know, uh, sad for uh, sad for for the for the ending of anything, sad for the loss of anything. And sometimes I think in our in our um, in this world with your social media and your tweets and your Facebooks, I think there's a rush to say the first words or or there's um there's a desire to say the last word, or there's a desire to say the sharpest words fastest. Those are not my instincts. They've never really been my instincts. Maybe when I was younger, they were, they were my instincts, but they're certainly not my instincts now. And um, look, uh, they, I, I saw some folks who, who, who made mention of, uh, of, of, the, of the company, of KRLA, of Salem, the company that, uh, that I have worked for for nine years doing the Morning Answer broadcast. And I am so proud of that. I am so proud to have uh, been there when the Morning Answer began, when the radio station became the answer. And, um, and I'm grateful. I, I, I'm grateful for... I'm grateful that the days of my adult life have been the dreams of my childhood. And that's really very true. That's really very true. And it takes a lot to get to look beyond that. I mean, it takes, it, it, it takes, uh, it takes more energy than I have to look beyond that to find any sadness or, or anger. Um, I, I, I have a contract and the radio station, my contract's coming up. And uh, someone mentioned on Facebook, wait, you said you had a contract for it. It's going to be around for a long time. Yeah, I said that a long time ago. It's, <laughs> it's been a while since I said that. Um, and the radio station is, uh, is, uh, is not, uh, my contract is not being renewed. And, is, uh, and, and that's, uh, that's not something, if you've been doing this, as so many of our of my colleagues have, and so many, and and as I have, you know when your contract's coming up, and there's conversations, and you know if it appears as if you're going to be sticking around or not. And there have been uh, conversations along the way, and uh, I, uh, I I I I won't, I can't reveal the content of those conversations, nor can I reveal how I feel about those conversations or about. Just the nature of the of the um, of the, of of recent months, but uh, but I, if you listen closely to the morning answer, perhaps you've heard me make a uh, once or twice a reference to uh, to the next year, and uh, I I have uh, nothing but tremendous tremendous love for uh, well for my my big boss who who uh, my former boss but still my friend, and I made that point last week. Uh, to him, and told him I love him, and uh, and he returned that sentiment, and uh, and um, and 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 for the folks, obviously uh, here in Los Angeles, uh, for whom I have worked for nine years, I I have to say that I, I have to say thank you, and I have to say uh, that's what I want to say is thank you. I want to say thank you for the opportunity to to be on. Uh, the radio and morning drive in Los Angeles for almost a decade on a show that I was lucky. I don't say blessed because I, uh, I don't think the Lord picks who gets to have uh, their dreams come true in terms of professional stuff and who doesn't. I think there's a whole lot of luck involved. So, um, and, and, then, and, and there should be, certainly if you're sitting where I am, home, there should be uh, a heck of a lot of gratitude and, and I, I'm very grateful um, I'm, I am, I'm ultimately very grateful. I, I have to say that, um, 
yeah, I, I mean, I, I uh, you know, as with any relationship that goes on, you know, for a very long time, uh, sometimes people see things differently or sometimes folks want, want uh, others with whom they're in relationships, personal, professional, or mineral. I don't think there's a third category. Uh, sometimes you, 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 you might wish that folks saw things a different way or another way. Um, and, uh, please understand that, that, that I, that I, that I won't ever, I won't ever, I won't ever say anything gratuitous about, uh, the folks that I've worked for. I won't do that. Okay. Now, as for the folks I've worked with, um, and I'm talking about Jennifer, I have to say that uh, Jennifer is my, is really, is truly my very best friend in the world. And uh, I love her very, very much. And Jennifer and I have, uh, have communicated as, uh, as you might expect that, uh, that Jennifer and I would communicate because p- people who have heard us on the radio, I think, hear the love and the friendship that we have. Uh, last week, I, I, I couldn't call Jennifer because I couldn't, I couldn't talk to Jennifer because I knew I'd get sad. I love Jennifer and our friendship goes on forever. And I sent her a, a message and, and she did call, but I said, you know, I can't talk to you right now. I said, I said, in fact, I'm writing this message and I'm crying because I will miss my time with Jennifer in the morning. I'll miss spending my mornings with her. And uh, with all my love for Jennifer, I will miss most I'll most miss, most miss spending the time uh, w- with you guys. If, uh, if, you have, if you're someone who has listened or has been a, a, a member of the Morning Answer listening family, I will most miss. I keep thinking I'm saying that wrong. But um, I, I will most miss that time together with you in the morning during what has been, uh, you know, for the, what, eight and a half years, a little over eight and a half years I've been doing the Morning Answer. And um, many of those years were, were atypical. I mean, uh, politically speaking, and, and certainly this, as I always say, is, as I've always said, uh, being on the radio here, awaiting the best news, the best possible news about this worst thing that's happening in our country and uh, and around the world, of course, these have been unusual times, and they have been times when uh, you guys hearing us and visiting uh, with me, I'm talking about me for a second, because um, uh, having 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 the company, as my mom, company's coming, having company with you in the morning, and uh, and hearing. Uh, uh, Hearing words that that, that I, I don't I don't think I'm worthy of that 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 me being there um, mattered like a lot to some people. Well, you being there mattered really a whole lot for uh, for me because I'm a person who doesn't um, I'm a person who has a a more uh, I have more I'm more candid on the radio with folks who listen uh, the people with whom I have the most intimate dearest, most precious personal relationship with is, um, is the listener. And, um, I say things on the radio uh, to Jennifer on the radio that I wouldn't probably say, well, no, I'd say with Jennifer, I'd say I'm off the radio. But what I say to you here is that, um, the time we've spent together and the words and thoughts and feelings that we've shared, uh, it is, it is, I know it's on the radio, but it is the most intimate, most personal expression that I offer because off the air in a room of four people, I, I'm not as comfortable. So I don't know that there's ever a way to say thank you for letting me do that for as long as I have during a time in my life. That's uh, really been a time where I had some stuff, some stuff to say about, and I've always had stuff to say, but, but, uh, unique things because not because I'm unique or because I'm that bright, but because the circumstances of all of our lives have been so unique. And thank you for, uh, thank you for the love. I I really do mean that I have felt, uh, and I do feel, and I do feel right now, so very loved. And, um, I, I, I will be okay. And I know that, uh, I know that, 
Jennifer uh, will take good care of the Morning Answer listening family. And, um, and Jennifer is, um, is the most beautiful person and is so talented and is so worthy of, uh, of, of, of uh, where she is. And, um, and I, I, I won't, my relationship with Jennifer continues on. Uh, and my relationship with you uh, continues on. And uh, for now, it's going to be like this. But uh, I, I do plan, uh, you know, I'm not retiring. I do plan to be on the radio. Uh, I loved my time on The Morning Answer. I loved it. Sitting back and looking at it, I love that time. There are moments that you love more than others. But why would I, at this point, think about the moments that uh, I didn't love the most? Because I love my time there. And uh, I thank you for being the most, I would say about, uh, people say to people who are on the radio, oh, so you're really the most critical dynamic of a radio broadcast is not the person talking at the microphone. It's the ears and the hearts and minds that are hearing the words that are being said on the radio. So uh, you guys are literally, it's an old phrase and it, it, it's probably hacky, but I swear I don't mean it as anything less than completely genuine. Uh, you, you, you guys have been the reason for all of it. You're the reason for anything I've ever been able to do on the radio. And uh, um, God willing, you will be the reason that I, that I can do something uh, that I can do something in the future. I, I, um, so there you go. And uh, well, I wasn't giving anyone the silent treatment. I just, again, wanted to say words that were, uh, that were not completely thought out because I, I like to, as maybe you've heard, I like to just kind of say things as I think them. And I have thoughts. I have some thoughts that I'm not sharing because it's, uh, it would be unprofessional. It would be not... Uh, my mom and dad wouldn't be proud of me if I did that. And while they're not here, I know what they would want. <laughs> and I know what they wouldn't want. And I know what I learned from them. And it's called class. Not that I am the classiest guy, because I'm not. But, but I know that, uh, well, for example, I know how my dad would... In, uh, my mom worked in the home. I know my dad having worked for corporations. I know how my dad would handle something like this. And uh, I am my father's son. So I will handle it like, like, uh, like I know he would. Okay? All right, guys. I will check back in with you, uh, you know, uh, like probably later today, these stay-at-home orders. 33 million Californians are in the house. Ah, you're going to need some entertainment. I'm going to start doing a vaudevillian variety show. I'm going to compete with Newsom at noon, the uh, Governor Newsom's uh, coronavirus uh, briefings. I think I'll do that. It'd be vaudevillian in nature. I'll have, uh, I'll do it from the Borscht Belt. Oh no, I can't. I have to stay in the house. I can't try. Ah, what a year! Uh, and so it has come to this. I'm okay. All right, I'm okay, guys. I uh, uh, please, 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 please. When you think of me, think that I've been a very lucky guy and I, and I will, I think I'll continue to be on a lucky streak. <laughs> Knock wood. Have a great Tuesday. And you might see me uh, right here in this space before Wednesday. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for all of the kindness. Thank you so much for all of the notes. And thank you so much for all of the years. Again, if you've, Listen, the morning answer, you, you probably didn't know it when you were doing it, but you were making childhood dreams a reality. Nothing could matter more to me than, than that. So thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys.